Welcome, amazing one. And let me teach you how to solve this kind of equation. Now, it's just so easy. I will take you through it step by step. When you look at this, this is what we call cubic equation because the highest power of K is three. And what it means is that we expected to have three solutions for K. Join me and let me show you what to do. So you begin with your solution. So this is what we have. K cubed minus K squared. So we have K squared plus 2K is equal to 56. Now what to do at this point is just to find the factors of this 56 such that when you cube that, square it and multiply by 2. If you carry these operations on that, it should be equal to 56. Let's do that together. We know too well that the factors of 56 are plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 4, and the rest of them. So let's check for when k is 1. So we have, if we have 1, we are going to have 1 cubed minus 1 squared plus 2 multiplied by 1. This is 1. This will give us 1 if you multiply is 2. And you see this is not equal to 56. So 1 is not a solution. And if you also try for negative 1, you are going to have negative 1 cubed minus negative 1 squared plus 2 multiply negative 1. When you cube negative, it gives you negative. When you square negative, it gives you positive. So you have 1. If you multiply, this is negative 2. And you see this is not equal to 56. So we check for when k is 2. We have for 2, we have 2 cubed minus 2 squared plus 2 multiplies 2. This will give us 8, this is 4, and this is 4. And this is not also equal to 56. So we also check for when k. If you do same, you can try for negative 2. Now let's check for when k is 4. We have 4 cubed minus 4 squared plus 2 multiplies 4. So let's see what that gives us. So we are going to have 4 cubed, you know, is 64. Then this will give us 16. Multiply this, you have 8. This, subtract this, add this. This will give us 72. Take away this, gives us 56. Now you see that this is also equal to what we have at the right side. So it means that K being 4 is a solution. Now let's do this together. So we now have K cubed minus K squared plus 2K is, instead of writing 56, I'm going to replace with 64 minus 16 add 8. So if you keep simplifying, you have K cubed minus K squared plus 2K is 64, as we have seen, is 4 cubed minus 16 is 4 squared, then plus 2 multiplies 4. Let's keep simplifying. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you very much for choosing to learn to us. If you are still new, hit that subscription button. We have a lot to give to you. And if you find this video interesting, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Let's keep solving. This gives us k cubed. Then we are going to take this to the left side. So we subtract. This one is addition. We subtract. So we are going to subtract 4 cubed. Then we have minus k squared this one is negative you add so we add four squared to both sides then we have plus 2k then this will now become minus 2 multiplied by 4 and everything is equal to zero so keep solving we now have these two are together as you can see so we have k cubed minus 4 cubed are together now for this they are together so we are going to factor out because the powers are the same. So let's bring them together. Factor negative out. So we are going to have k squared. Use this to divide. You have negative 4 squared. Now for this, you observe that 2 is common in the 2. So we are going to factor 2 out. When you do that, you are going to be left with k. These two divide this. You are going to have negative 4. And everything is equal to 0. At this point, what do you think we should do? Just remember quickly, for every a cubed minus b cubed, it's always a minus b into a squared plus ab plus b squared. 
And also for every a squared minus b squared, it's always a plus b into a minus b. This is your algebraic identities. Now for this, we can apply this one. And if we do that, let's take it to this part. So from here, we now have, for this, we are going to apply this. So this is our A and this is B. So we're going to have K minus 4 into, for this, we now have K squared plus, multiply these two, we have K multiplies 4 plus 4 squared. Then bring down your subtraction sign. For this, you are going to apply this difference of two squares. So you have k add 4 and k subtract 4. Then plus 2 into k minus 4 and everything is equal to 0. So if you simplify, you have k minus 4 into k squared. If you multiply this, it gives you 4k plus. This will give us 4 times 4 is 16. Then we have minus k plus 4 into k minus 4 plus 2 bracket k minus 4 is 0. Now, did you observe anything? You observed, I remember these two are together, these are together, and these are together. You observe that k minus 4 is repeated in the three parts. So we are going to factor it out to solve. Let's do that together to have. So factoring k minus 4 out, we have k minus 4, open a big bracket, then use this to divide these two. You see, you'll be left with k squared plus 4k plus 16. Then we're also going to use this to divide these two. Remember this subtraction sign. So let's bring it down first. In that case, we are going to enlarge this. So we enlarge this. So we have minus. So use this to divide this. We'll be left with k plus 4. So we have k plus 4. Then Use this to divide these two. We'll be left with positive two. And all these are equal to zero. Keep solving. We have k minus four into, let's open up this. So we are having k squared plus 4k plus 16. Now we are going to use this negative sign to distribute inside these brackets. Just so to open it up. So if you use this to distribute, this is just like you having negative one. So use it to multiply, it gives you negative k. Use it also here, it gives you negative 4. Then remember you have plus 2 and everything is equal to 0. So keep solving, we have k minus 4 into k squared. Now 4k take away k gives us 3k. 16 take away this gives us 12 plus this gives us 14. And everything is equal to zero. Now, at this point, remember, for every a, b that is equal to zero, either a is zero or b is zero. So if you apply it on, on this, let's work with this first. So it means that either k minus 4 is equal to zero. So to remove this, add 4 to do both sides. Since it's negative, so you add 4. This will cancel this. So we are going to be left with k is, add this, it gives you 4. And this gives us the first value of k. Solving this, we are going to have k squared plus 3k plus 14, and that is equal to zero. Now, this is your quadratic equation because the highest power of k is now two. So to solve this, we are going to use the formula method. So it means that k is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Now remember that your a is the coefficient of k squared and here is 1. So our a is equal to 1, b is the coefficient of k is 3, and our c is the constant term which is 14. So we are going to plug this in this formula to have. So we now have k is equal to negative of our b is 3, so plus or minus square root of 3 squared minus 4 multiplies 1, and 1 is multiplied by 14. And everything is divided by 2 times 1. So we have k is equal to negative 3 plus or minus square root. 
3 square gives you 9, 3 times 3, which is 9. So if you multiply this, it gives us negative. This will give us 16. Take 1. This will give us 4 plus 1. We have 56. And it's divided by 2 times. This is 2. So we have k is equal to negative 3 plus or minus. Subtract this, we have square root of negative 47. is divided by 2. So solving, we have k is equal to negative 3 plus or minus. This can also be written as negative 1 multiplied by 47 and is divided by 2. Keep solving. k is equal to negative 3 plus or minus. Now remember, each time you have root of a multiplied by b, is root of a multiplied by root of b. So here we apply it here to give us square root of negative 1 multiplied by this is equal to, is divided by 2. Now for every square root of negative 1, we replace with imaginary unit i. So it means that k is negative 3 plus or minus. This becomes i and 47, square root of 47, is 47 is a prime number. So square root of 47 gives us a prime solved. In that case, we cannot simplify anymore. So it's going to be also root 47, then divide by 2. And this gives us the second and third value of k. Now let's gather the values together to have. So we now have it that the first value of k is 4. The second value of k is negative 3 plus, let's take the positive. So we have i root 47 divided by 2. Then we now have the third value of k is negative 3 minus i root 47 divided by 2. Now these are the three values of k. Remember we said at the beginning that because this is 3, we expected to have three values of k. And this value is the one we call the real because it can be found on the number line. And these two are the complex solution because they contain both the real and the imaginary parts. You can see this in your Agan diagram. And I hope you really learned something today. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Help us to share this so that the algorithm is sent to more people. And if this helps you, let's know how much. And also be curious to see your own method in the comments. Thank you, and I will see you in my next class. Bye.